Yeah, yeah. Right. Perfect, yeah. Just hold them, yeah. Throw the shell there in there. Woo! Hold on for you. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to like spill this thing. Running. She's just going to line it up and then do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So guys, what's happening? This is a little trial to give them a running. We're about to go crabbing. For Dungeness Crab. For Dungeness Crab. And with the way this, I wouldn't even call it a boat ramp, but a beach, perks, is <laughs> that he has to take the truck and back up really, really fast with the trailer. The and then I think he slams on his brakes and then the boat comes flying off, right? Yeah. And we're in it because we're home waters. <laughs> Did we do One it? One more. Take it easy going up. No, not yet. Take and it easy going up. One more. The reason we're in the, the boat. boat is because we don't have waders on it. Everybody else has waders. So, so the boat can get in the water and then they can climb the boat, but we don't have waders. We it's did so it. shallow here, your boat won't float, so you just can't launch it normally. Oh. Yeah. All right. Thanks for making sure we're safe. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I thought we were going to go flying. What's up guys, my name is Amanda. My name is Emily, welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. We are beaching a boat right now because we are about to go Dungeness crabbing. crabbing. And if, you have, if you've missed, we've been in Washington. This is our second day in Washington with Team Rain Shadow and Fats and Enterprises. Yesterday we went fishing for salmon and it was absolutely epic and insane. We caught so many salmon that we said day two, you know what? We're gonna go crabbing. Bill just took these salmon carcasses from yesterday's salmon and he loaded them in this trap. He stuffed them in there really, really tight and we got the doors down here which the crabs can get in but not out. And I would imagine these circles are for the ones that are too small that yes. they can get out. Yep. There you go. You know something about crabbing. Yeah. yeah. And well, we catch our All right. And Carrie's going to tell me when. All right. Go ahead and fire it. 17 feet. All right. 17 feet of water. Here. Carrie put us on the spot. And that's our first trap. First trap. We're allowed two per person, so we're going to drop eight traps today. What is that? All right, guys, we just pulled a piece of kelp. Kelp. Oh, kelp. And they're telling us you can eat it. Sure, it's not gonna kill you. You can eat it? Salty. <laughs> it doesn't really taste like anything. Not much taste to it, though. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it really has, like, no flavor. Yeah. Does it taste like, you like your it. California roll? <laughs> it tastes like a leaf. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> it doesn't really taste like anything. No. If anything, it might sound weird. It tastes like, it reminds me of like aloe vera. Yeah, that's what I thought like the same the, thing. Like the texture of it and the smell. Yeah. Like our aloe vera plant. Tell you the truth, I've never seen anybody eat one. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like we're making you eat the heart of your first salmon or anything. Ready? You know. <laughs> That'd be a whole nother level. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so it's, it's 30. Guys, it's 32 degrees. I've got my finger gloves so I can use the camera. And my other glove, we got hand warmers on. I got hand warmers, I got a hand warmer in my pocket. We got so many layers. Us Floridians are not used to this weather, but, but we are out here. Even, this crowding. Yes, Enjoy. even the locals are dressed like we're dressed. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, it's not just us, because you're on the boat and the wind is, you're not protected, so when we make our runs, I mean, you have 30 degree wind coming at you at what, like 20 knots? It's freezing. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about was there's this spit out here. 
A spit is like a natural jetty. It is a natural jetty and this thing is like two and a half miles long and on one side of it it's only what 20 feet of water and on the other side it's like 300 feet of water and it's, it's kind of like the world's it's like creating its own bay but it's the world's largest natural spit guys we are currently on the spit the spit we're currently on the spit which is a beach and i can walk in it because my boots are really high <laughs> but i'm super excited we're here so we're killing time right emily Yes, so basically we're trying to let the crab pods sit in the water and get their crabs in them and they said around 45 minutes to an hour. So we came to the spit. This side is what you said. This is the bay. I guess the bay. No, it is the bay. It's the bay. It's okay. the bay. And 15 feet of water. And that that side, side, 500, 500, 500 feet, of feet of water. And then right at the end where the end is, I was told that it goes out to like 200 feet of water. Like right over that way. And this so, lighthouse. Let's talk about this And there's lighthouse. a lighthouse. Guys. Look at this lighthouse. So this lighthouse. Wait, I gotta walk to your it? left. All right. So Look at all this driftwood. So this is all natural driftwood coming through, which is why these guys don't like to fish at Look night at this because. Big piece of driftwood. Look at this. So guys, what happens is the rivers that we were fishing on yesterday. The big trees. Come from somewhere around here. The rivers come out. I couldn't tell you where. And when it rains, these trees get broken down and pulled out through the river. And this is all driftwood coming through. So that's why they don't fish at night out here because gosh, would you could really you, want to hit could this? Could you guys imagine if a tree this big was down in the Florida Keys and we, how many mahi would be on this tree? It, there would probably be a school of thousands. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's seals. Oh. <laughs> we have seals. Oh my gosh! Salmon eaters right They're there. so cute. Oh, I hope one cuts close. Look how cute they are. Look at this. We have seals. Oh, they just went under. That was so cute. You ready? Yeah. I'm pulling my first Dungeness crab trap. Yes. On the this is the Dungeness Bay, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's right here. I got it. I got it. All right. Pull, pull, pull. Terry will get you on top of it. How deep is it? Fifteen feet of water. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. All right. She's on it. Reverse a little bit. How's it feel? Heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy actually. Oh, full of crab. Oh, oh you got a full crab. Oh yeah. Wow. I got the Here magic it comes, touch. Guys. Yeah, you do. And I'll give you a hand to pull it up. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> wow, there's a big one. Look at nice those. job. Wow. So this is a keeper for sure. You don't even need to measure. You want to go ahead and hold it right here? Yep. And show her that's a keeper for sure. All right. Got my keeper. It's so cool. Yeah. So where's Wait. the measuring tool though? So, so you put it on the inside of this one? Like inside of there? And it has to go on the inside oh, of there, yeah. so that's definitely a big keeper. Give it a second before we dump it. So just so you guys see, when we're measuring, we go in front of this little part of the crab on both sides, and he has to fit outside. Outside. So okay. he's a keeper. Cool. Yeah, that's a keeper. And, and it's a male. male. If you see here, the males have, um, it's like a skinny, yes. narrow piece here, and the females will have a big, almost and, rounder, and the that's the female. would be like this, so you can see. Perfect. Kind of like our blue held. crabs. It's that we really use. similar to our blue crabs. And females, when they carry eggs, they carry them all in here, and this will like lift away. Yes, and yes. it'll be orange. Yeah. Full of eggs. So yeah. she has to go home. Yes, we do not keep females. But we're going to keep this male. All right, into the water. The rest of these look, so this is definitely not a keeper. No. So I'm just going to toss it. That's not a keeper. He also doesn't want to go home. Pull out of here. He's okay. They're pretty hardy. My hands are frozen, so I can hardly use them. There we go. I got him. Got him. <laughs> they like to grab on things. There we go. There we go. Toss him back. He's small. Yeah. Our non-keeper crab. There we go. So he fits inside the tool. Yeah. Okay. Let's send it home. Send him home. All right, we're going to see, yeah. and there's too much room here. Yes, too much so room. So this is not a keeper. 
Barely. And this is a male, but we're gonna let him go. Ready? <laughs> Too small. Too small. Too small. Too small. Oh. All right, Too this short. one is definitely gonna be small. You can see all that extra room. So we're gonna let him go, let him grow. To the ocean. Let him grow and get bigger. <laughs> too small. We know this one's gonna be too small. You see how it, there's oh, yeah. extra room. Now I'm about to pull a crab trap of Dungeness crabs. So excited. My fingers are gonna freeze. This water is literally 40, what, 45 yeah, degrees, it's I like think. like 45 degrees Here, let me water. find out. What's the water temperature? The water is 49 degrees. <laughs> Wish me luck. My hands got really cold, but they're actually, they warm up quick. You gotta go that way. Um, oh, oh wow. Nice. Got it! And I actually want to explain something that we didn't, we touched on earlier, but I'm not sure if we got it. So this is the door that the crabs can climb in, but they can't climb out because the door only opens one way. And this smaller hole is for the crabs that are too small, they can climb out um, or we're going to release them. Whoa, it's huge. But this one is soft. Okay. Oh, it's in the middle of molting. Okay. So you can squeeze it. Yeah. See, he's growing bigger, yeah. so we don't keep the softies. Okay. So this is a is a keeper size. Yeah. But it's gonna grow. In, it's got to grow into its shell, so you can see it's soft. You can pinch Whoa. it. Uh, see how you pinch it? Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's not a keeper. Okay. okay. Gonna keep softies. So we're gonna toss him back, and we're gonna look for another one. The same rule of the soft can't keep the soft ones applies to our lobsters too. We can't yeah. keep soft molting lobsters. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> There's a keeper oh, in Look, there. there's the salmon head. And there's the salmon head. Yeah, there's the salmon wow. head. Wow. The other day. And how long was this pot in the water? Like? One hour. One That's hour. insane. Could you imagine if we had stone crabs like this? This Everyone is going to be my first, first keeper? keeper. Oh, yeah. It doesn't oh, fit. Yeah. Wait, do that again. Go to measure. Look All at right. that. There you go. See that? Look at that. Too big. 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 Throw them in the... Ready? There's nine. Oh, right perfect. there. So that so, that's a keeper. Yeah. Any smaller though, we could not keep him. No, any okay. smaller you could not keep him. Whoa! Look at that monster. That's huge. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that's a big and that's like the biggest one of the day right there. Nice. You guys remember what the keepers looked like? Now look at this. It's literally over an inch, maybe an inch and a half bigger than what they have to be. Yes. This thing is huge. You ready? Yes. Got another keeper. Do it. In the cooler. Another keeper. See that? Look how much that was a keeper by. Yeah. Throw, throw them in. Come in. Guys, we are fishing for crabs. You ready? Yeah, how does this work? So we drop down some bait on like a sinker. It's kind of like our mutton snapper rig, except there's no hook on it. It's like a big sinker. There is there's a hook, a hook on, it. on it. Just kidding. There's a hook on it. So there's a hook on it and we have a bait on it. it looks kind of like this here. Ah, uh, here's our rig. Oh, there we go. Salmon belly, people love to eat it. So the hook is really just to hold the bait on. It's not to cook the crab or anything like that. Right, and we're using salmon bellies for bait from yesterday's salmon. Ooh. Feel heavy? Yeah, look at the rod. Let me look at this rod. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh. oh. Wow. Okay, Holly, you got it? Yeah. There yeah. it is. Keep pulling your bait up, keep pulling your bait up, keep pulling your bait up. Get him? Yeah, uh -huh. you got yeah. Wait, did we get the big one? 
Yeah. Oh, we got the big one. one. It's not it's the one. It is, it is the big one, though. Look at it. Oh, yeah. It's a keeper. Yay. Get the measure out. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. Oh, look at it. Look at that. Ah. He's still got his food in his, in his claw. I was going to say his hand. Let his me hand. Last meal. This is his a big last one. meal. Here you go. Let's just, show you guys just to show how big he is. Look at how big that is. Look at how much room, how bigger he is than the, than the wood, huh? than the device. Yeah, the, the measuring, the measuring tool. tool. <laughs> All right, guys, here's our crabs. Look at this crab right here on the left. And look at how his claw, the end of his claw is missing. We have a story. Amanda, okay, story let's time. Tell, tell us the story. So we were on the boat taking pictures with the crabs after the day was over and I had a crab in my left hand and I just had my right hand right here and I wasn't, Fisher just put the ball back in the water. And I wasn't, Fisher put the ball in the water. Story interruption. Story interruption. And I had a crab in my left hand and my right hand was here and the crab came and pinched my left thumb. Like I'm telling you, like, okay, just look, look at this. this. Can you see that? Yeah, we see that. Can you see that? So I have dip nail polish on, so for you ladies watching, you know exactly what that means. And this is what saved my thumb. These crabs are known for pinching and literally breaking, breaking through, through your nail and your skin and your thumb or your finger will like pop basically. And you have to go to the hospital, get stitches. And it happened to me, I was on the boat, I was sitting, I had the crab here, it reached over, grabbed my right thumb and I was like, holy cow. And the guys had to pry it off. And I'm telling you, if this is gonna be black and blue by the end of the day. For the guys that don't know dip nails, her nails are hard. This Wait, is that super, hurts though. Sorry, sorry, I don't wanna hurt you. <laughs> so, these, okay. are, these are hard. And yes, it's not regular nail polish. It's actually like, a, it's almost like an acrylic coating on your nails. So because of that, it saved my nail from and my thumb. The crab but thank God I got my nails done for this because I actually wasn't planning on it. I didn't even want to do it and I decided I would just do it anyways. But now we're going to go ahead and cook these crabs. All right, let's cook these crabs. Pull out the crab cracker. So this is our crab cracker, custom made crab cracker. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to whoa, go like that. And it kills them, right? Like all their legs. Fold it in. <gasps> Whoa. Right. Fold Just it like in. That. And then you take off this part. You take off the gills. Shake out that. And now this is all meat. Perfect. Right? Whoa. Okay. I'm a little paranoid after she got... <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Honestly, my thumb just, like, really sore, so... All right. Using it is not exactly so you something. Want to get right down the middle. You want to hit him hard. Go ahead and hit him. I'll help you. With hard. what? With yeah. this? Yeah. yeah. Ow. Harder. Can I use my elbow? Sure. <laughs> yeah. There you go. A little more. He'll, he'll stop squirming. There you go. So as soon as this thing hits the middle of his head, he's dead. See, his okay. legs are. Yeah. So his brain, which is about the size of a small little peanut, is right there. All right. Okay, so, now fold one side in. So hold it in your hand, yep, and then fold one side of the legs. Ow. There. I know they're like, they got a lot of protection on them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Perfect. All right. I'll take one side and then you do the other side. And then I'll show you after that. Perfect, yep. Just fold them, yep. Throw the shell there in there. Okay. And then I like to take this part off first. Right? Take that part this off. Part. That one. This part? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then these I, are the gills. Yeah, and these are the gills, so I just take it and I run my fingers down the gills and pull all the gills off. Shake it's it clean. out. Yeah. And then you get all the gills off. Oh, don't worry about that. That's oh. all edible. Cool. Cool. Throw it on the table. <laughs> and that's it. Nice. Going into the boiling yeah. water. Well, are you ready. touching it? Yeah. You're crazy. Uh -huh. Got some sausage. Sausage in there. And corn. Throw some sausage in there. And Got corn. And we let that cook for 15 minutes and we'll be eating. You're gonna touch the bottom of it? Woo! You dip it in the butter like okay, that. Take my popsicle stick. And dip it in the butter. Mm. There you go, that works? Yeah. Okay. And that then the really second good. portion of it is I'll pop off that little knuckle. And then you'll have this. 
Yep. yep. So you end up with a piece like this. Okay. And then you open it up like a can. Right? Like a can? Oh, it's like an old-fashioned can opener. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So you're using it as <laughs> Oh, a, like that? Yeah. Oh, oh. And then you can... <laughs> I tore apart all my meat in the process. That's okay. <laughs> so, figure it out. Oh, my goodness. I'm stuffed. I have a food coma. It's 3 <laughs> o'clock here, but that means it's 6 o'clock Florida time, so I'm just ready to lay down. That food was delicious. That food, I have to say that fish, but the fish and the crab Wait, was we had fish too. so good. The salmon was so good. Carrie did a great job at cooking it. So did Jeff and Bill. Oh, so good. We guys, we guys. See, I have like jet lag brain, fish plus brain. fish brain, plus crab brain. I'm really tired. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This was something super new for us and we've had an absolute blast in Washington. Like this is like way better than I expected. I mean, we hit the lottery fishing yesterday. We got our limit of crabs today. So yes, we hit the lottery crabbing. And tomorrow we're gonna be going to the Bats and Enterprise. We're gonna, I guess it's their, their office and their shop. shop and they have their inventory there, which is absolutely insane. Unbelievable. We've already seen it, you guys haven't yet. It's unbelievable what they store in their shop. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna take you guys with us tomorrow again to learn about rods and the rod building process. So it's super cool. We are recently learning about it. We've always known about rod building, but not on this level. So it's so cool to see it all. We really appreciate you guys watching. We have go a surprise. Ahead. Are we gonna say this surprise No, not now? yet, but we're gonna tell you that. We're gonna tell you tomorrow. Or the next you video. guys are probably going to figure this out by now. But yes, we have a surprise and you're going to find out tomorrow about this surprise. So in the next video. In the next video, yes, because I don't know when, how things are going to work out. In the next video, you're going to find out about the surprise. We appreciate you all watching and following Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And go ahead and I'll just put some details in the description box on um, everything we're doing while we're in Boston. Boston. <laughs> we were in Boston um, last month while we're in Washington. Thanks for watching, guys.